is taking a break from his Texas vacation to visit the Metro. NBC 41 News at 9 on Channel 38 starts now. You are watching KMCI TV Channel 38 with Kansas City's most in-depth news. This is NBC 41 News at 9. Good evening, I'm Sally Moore. A pharmacist accused of watering down chemo drugs won't be going anywhere anytime soon. A judge ruled this afternoon Robert Courtney is a flight risk. NBC 41's Anthony Powell has the story from the federal courthouse. Among those testifying on his behalf, Robert Courtney's father, who tearfully calls his son ideal. Courtney remains stoic throughout, even after his wife smiles at him following her testimony that her husband poses no flight risk. Friends of the family, meanwhile, also say Courtney belongs out of jail. He is compassionate, he's loving, he's caring, not only for his family, but for uh, his church family and for his friends, his community. The prosecutors argue Courtney poses a threat to the community, citing the tremendous impact the charges appear to have on so many people. They also believe Courtney would flee the country, saying he's attempted several large financial transactions recently. Prosecutors admit, though, the allegations are unconfirmed. Meanwhile, the FBI says its investigation remains in high gear, saying more agents are due in town this week to help respond to the 1,200 calls that have now come into the hotline. What happened in Judge Larson's court today has no real bearing on how we proceed with the FBI and FDA investigation. We will continue to proceed as we have, and that is making our first priority to identify any potential victims. We will continue to contact the people on the hotline. Anthony Powell, NBC 41 News. The FBI continues to investigate how far back the diluting of the drugs may have gone. Many feel it was a lot longer than Courtney has indicated. FBI agents are getting a little extra help with their investigation. People from across the country have been calling the FBI tips line. No, I, extra officers are now coming in to help return those calls. Call the FBI hotline at 816-421-8639 if you think you may have taken some of those diluted drugs. KU Medical Center is offering tips for any patients filling prescriptions to stay safe. They say first, know your pharmacist. Know as much as you can about your condition and the drug you are prescribed. Ask the doctor what side effects the drug may have and look up what the drug looks like in a reference book. Finally, feel free to ask other pharmacists questions about your prescriptions. President Bush has arrived in Kansas City. Tomorrow, he will speak at Truman High School in Independence. NBC 41's Mary Elbow has more on today's preparations for the president's visit. Air Force One rolled into the TWA overhaul base just before 3.30. On hand to greet President Bush, a few dignitaries, including Senator Kit Bond and Sprint Chairman Bill Esri, plus three TWA employees. He took my glasses off, so I had to win my, my picture with him. He said I wouldn't be incognito, and uh, he just made me feel like he was just the guy next door. Meantime, inside Truman High School, students make banners and production crews adjust lights. This is where the president will discuss his budget. That means transforming a high school gymnasium into a platform suitable for a president. The gym's patriotic colors and the school's presidential ties make it an obvious choice for Bush's second visit to Kansas City. Harry Truman was a Democrat, but President Bush, a Republican, he's choosing to come here. I think that's a great thing. The student council presidents from Truman and Christman will act as presidential greeters Tuesday. It's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's not something where you meet the president every day, so something I feel very honored to be a part of. Logistically, it's a bit stressful for school administrators with the President of the United States visiting one day and school starting the next. The Bush Forward people have been really great to work with and they're very, very conscious of us trying to get ready for school and they're trying to, you know, not come in and shut down the building totally. Mary Obo, NBC 41 News. The President's speech will focus on the budget and it is expected to include some kind of major announcement. Authorities find the truck of a man missing since last Wednesday. Kansas City Police found 38-year-old Brian Duthu's pickup in this vacant lot near 18th and Truth. Kansas City detectives, along with officers from the Clay County Sheriff's Department, checked out the scene. Meanwhile, his friends continued their search. Some friends graciously donated some helicopter time, and so we went up and looked for the vehicle uh, north of the river and along the river. And uh, I'd just gotten out of that and was a little discouraged that we hadn't found anything.
Desu has been missing since last Wednesday when he was seen leaving a Liberty convenience store. Coming up tonight at 10, you will see surveillance video from that store. Police in Junction City are investigating the death of a Fort Riley soldier tonight. He was found lying in a parking lot in Junction City early Sunday. Results of an autopsy have not yet been released. Police have not ruled out foul play in the soldier's death. A caged lion bit a Tonganoxie woman this weekend. The woman was flown to KU Medical Center yesterday after being bitten. She was trying to feed the lion through the fence when it reached out and bit her upper arm. The owner was not there when it happened. The sheriff's department tells us the female lion will be quarantined in its cage for 10 days to make sure it and the women are healthy. After that, it can go back to its normal life. The lions are all licensed. Everybody knows to keep their hands away from my pens. I mean, anytime somebody comes up here, I don't mind bringing them back here and standing like we are. But, you know, everybody knows not to put their hands near the pens. And the owner says he will put up more no trespassing signs. Roof repairs may have sparked a fire at a popular chief souvenir shop. The fire caused extensive damage to the sports nut store at 40 Highway and Blue Ridge. That's right by the stadium complex. It took firefighters about an hour to get the fire under control. Some of the merchandise was safe. Gary Lezak, fresh back off the links tonight, playing golf for a good cause today. I hear you did pretty good. I did all right. You know, I had a couple of good, really good drives, but uh, um, we did we did pretty <laughs> good as a team too. Oh, I didn't. I left before the final results came in, but we okay. were in first place by about 25 strokes. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just kidding when I say that. Uh, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Let's start by taking a look. Taking a look at this. Uh, right now it is 78 degrees. This morning's low was 62. And so you could probably have your windows open for the third straight morning. Well, tonight I doubt it. It's 78 now. It's probably not going to drop much more than six or seven more degrees. All right, let's go to our map. The answer is 106 degrees. What is the question, Sally? The hottest day recorded on this day in history? No, good no, guess. I don't good guess. I can't go How hot was it in Wichita, That's Kansas? That's right. I should today? have known that. I, re I should have remembered <laughs> well, I know. that. I should have given you a hint. 106 degrees uh, in Wichita. Is that air heading our way? I'll find out and I'll let you know in just a few minutes. I hope not, but I have a feeling otherwise. Okay. Gary, thanks. We'll see you in a few. All right. Sacramento police are looking for a 27 year old man tonight who they say killed five members of his family. The violent rampage tops our look at news across America. Police say Nicolay Solstice stabbed his wife, aunt, uncle, and two young cousins today. A three year old boy is still missing and presumed to be with Solstice. Police believe he is extremely dangerous just because of the nature of this crime. Investigator lady that was we want to get this guy off the streets as quickly as possible. Uh, we are in the process now of trying to account for all his family members to make sure that we don't have a string of these. The suspect and neighbors are mostly Russian, and the language barrier is slowing the police investigation. A mother whose son was accidentally shot and killed by a friend is asking for help. Anne Marie Crowell, along with PAX TV, is starting a campaign called Ask. It encourages parents to ask other parents if they have guns in their homes. Ask stands for Asking Saves Kids. Crowell says this sort of program could have saved her son's life. Parents can sign the pledge at their pediatrician's office, school, or online at www.askingsaveskids.com. That morning battle of deciding what to wear is almost over for Hickman Mill students. That's because the decision just got a lot easier. NBC 41's Janet Koziel shows us why. I like blue and white. Good thing, too, because that's what Rakesha Barr and hundreds of her classmates will be wearing this year. For the first time, the Hickman Mill School District is pushing uniforms. No one has to wear them, but few seem to mind it, including parents. Much cheaper to get the uniforms than it was to get the normal street clothes. On Monday through Thursday, school officials want to see students wearing white-colored shirts and navy pants, skirts, or shorts. But on Friday, school colors rule. This isn't just for the students, but for teachers, too. And we're hoping that uh, peer pressure will, will uh, come into the fold, that each of the students will see, well, if you're wearing your white and navy, then maybe I'll wear it. So we're hoping it'll spread. Most of the students already wear uniforms, but some would have picked a different color. Red orange. Rakesha doesn't care about the color. She's more interested in time management. I think it's nice. Why? Because I don't have to worry about earning my clothes every morning. With photographer John Batten, Janet Koziel, NBC 41 News. 
Well, the uniforms at Hickman Mills aren't mandatory yet, but they could be as soon as next year. Several other districts around the metro also have some kind of uniform policy. It's sometimes hard to believe, but children are sometimes left in cars, sometimes with tragic consequences. Next in our Money Matters, a new device to make sure your most precious cargo is protected. And one of your children's toys could be a possible threat. We'll tell you about an important recall next. NBC 41 News at 9 will be right back. Watch the Steve Harvey Show starting September 17th on 38 Family Great. But it will make you feel a lot better. A golf club? No way. But it'll do a lot to improve your lifestyle. Shopping club? No, but it'll help you discover the real value. The 700 Club. If you're looking for something more from a television program, you'll find it here. Stories and information that matter to you on The 700 Club. Watch The 700 Club weekday afternoons at 1 on 38 Family Greats. So, all ready for back to school? There's not much time left. Better get going to Dick's Sporting Goods. Get the hottest new shoes from Nike, Adidas, and New Balance up to 50% off. And Dick's footwear in stock guarantee means we'll have the sizes you need in stock on any advertised footwear guaranteed. Plus, save on t-shirts, shorts, backpacks, and more. It's all at Dick's Sporting Goods. We love sports as much as you do. Remember, with silverware, you start at the outside and work your way in. Dessert spoons at the top of the plate because dessert is always served last. Proper ladies and gentlemen always follow these rules. Now, if you just can't wait for dessert, drive into Sonic for Eat Dessert First Month and try our new peaches and cream pie shake made with bits of real peaches. Get any of our cream pie shakes with a juicy Sonic burger, all for just $2.99. William Blake once said, no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. Yeah, right. Look, you want to fly? Get your poetic little self over to worlds of fun. Try ripping through the air at 75 miles an hour. That'll ruffle your feathers. Then get whipped around like a space monkey on a mission to Mars. See what that does for your flight pattern. Worlds of fun. Get out there and make some noise. He has an idea for her new career. He wants me to be a porn star. So she dated a guy who got the job done. We ended up back in my hot tub. He was the only thing rising. Plus, get an update on the next change of heart. Watch tonight at 10.30. You're watching NBC 41 News at 9 on Channel 38. You've heard many stories this summer of children being accidentally left inside hot cars. Topping tonight's Money Matters, a Minneapolis woman has designed a device to hopefully prevent any more deaths. She's marketing tags for keychains to help remind parents they have a child in the car. Just clip it right on your car key ring, and it's hard to miss that when you're getting out of your car, you have this hanging there. Well, Carol says in addition to the clip, parents should keep their purses and briefcases next to the child's seat so they have to turn around and look and make sure the seat is empty. For more information on the tags and preventing heat deaths, go to KSHB.com. A California company is recalling more than 110,000 low-cost children's toys. Children can choke on the toys if they break. Four toys are involved in this recall, a two-piece tambourine set, a water wheel for use in the bath, a plastic train, and a toy boat. The toys were sold in dollar stores nationwide from September of 1999 through May of this year. The Federal Reserve is expected to cut interest rates tomorrow again. It will be the seventh cut this year. Analysts expect the Fed, expect rather the Fed to cut rates by a quarter of a point. Speechless. On Wall Street today, bargain hunters moved in and gave stock prices a big boost as Wall Street prepares for tomorrow's Federal Reserve meeting. The Dow Jones rose 79 points. The Nasdaq was also up 14 points. Sounds like Gary's golf score today, huh? 14? Yeah, could be. That'd be good. Yeah, for you, huh? <laughs> one shot per hole in the 14 holes I've played. That'd be pretty darn mm. good. Uh, there was this one shot, that, um, as I told you, that a Ferrari was for the... I meant 1983. over 14. I know. plus 14. I, I understand. <laughs> like I said, there was one hole, uh, hole 11, uh -huh. where it was 188 yards. Yes. And you hit the hole in you one. You got the get, vintage Ferrari. Right, right. And Did I, you get it? I came close. Oh, yeah. When it's it went always in the, the case. No, I thought it was in, so... 
We missed by 10 feet. Oh, all right, that much. But from 180 yards away, it's not bad. Hey, good evening, everyone. A lot to go over tonight. How hot is it going to be? New data is just coming in. Uh, so we'll analyze that and give you an updated forecast at 10 tonight because a couple things in play here. How hot will it be tomorrow and Wednesday into Thursday? And will we see any rain? A couple of thunderstorms out there right now. We'll check Storm Sentinel or Storm Live Digital Doppler here in just a minute. Let's see what's going on. Uh, 78 degrees is our current temperature, 86 to high, 62 comfortable degrees this morning. Uh, those days are over for about a week. Maybe next week we'll get lucky and get back into some cooler air. All right, let's go and look at uh, this month so far. First of all, we'll go to Storm Sentinel. We're going to go to that in a minute. But uh, you can see here's a thunderstorm southwest of Emporia. We'll check that in just a, a few minutes on our time lapse. We'll see some clouds out there. Now to the weather calendar, all right? Uh, 2001, this is this year, we were in the 90s for the first nine days of the month, and you add in the last three days of July, it was a 12-day stretch of heat, but the highest it got was like 98 or 99 degrees. Then it cooled off the 10th, the 11th, and for the last 11 days, including today, which was 88 degrees, it's been below 90. So for 12 straight days, 90 or higher, and then 11 straight days, Nine, under 90 or lower, <laughs> that makes sense. And now tomorrow we'll start another stretch of 90 degrees plus, maybe even our first 100 degrees. So this is this year. Last year, it was much hotter. It was in the 80s, 90s, near 100. It hit 100 degrees downtown eight times last August. Look at that. More on that in the next few days. Uh, today, as we answer this question at the beginning of the weathercast, beginning of the newscast, the answer is 106. The question, how hot was it in Wichita, Kansas today? 103 degrees in Emporia, 88 in Kansas City. There's this little warm front right through here. That's where that thunderstorm is forming. And we can see that on our time lapse. Those thunderstorms way off in the distance, the mid-level cloud deck there. As the sun was setting, watch this. As the sun is setting, the moon wasn't that far behind. So we put this into motion. You can see the alto stratus clouds, maybe a few alto cumulus clouds. And as it gets a little darker, there it is. There's the moon, isn't that cool? As it's setting off to the west, it is now set on the western horizon as well. So tonight there won't be any moon in the sky. It'll be a very dark night. Few clouds in the sky and probably no rain. But these are associated with a couple of thunderstorms that we saw at the beginning of the weathercast way off to the west. Isn't that cool? There it is. There's the moon behind the clouds. All right, now what's going to happen tomorrow? Well, that warm front, you can sort of see on our map coming up here, and you'll be able to see that as our time lapse is still going to end very slowly. I must have had it in half speed. But here it is. Look at these. These arrows are winds. So you have a southeast wind. These are little arrows, okay? Southeast winds up into the northern plains, southerly winds. Now, the computer forecasted 98 in Wichita for today, all right? It was wrong. Eight degrees off. So this is what our forecast was this morning from the guys thinking it could be uh, 98 there. Then overnight, notice how the winds start to swing around, okay? And then tomorrow we go to a southwesterly wind. Now the computer says only one pocket of 100, but just like today it'll probably be much larger and we could have our first 100 degree day tomorrow. 71 degrees overnight tonight, a south breeze at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now the winds will become southwesterly tomorrow and up to 100 degrees tomorrow. And we're looking at 98 Wednesday. Wednesday depends on how hot it gets tomorrow because it could be the same Wednesday as it is tomorrow. And then maybe so. some rain Thursday. And the humidity will come back up as well. All right. We well, knew it was going to get warm one more time. I know. One yeah. more time. The Chiefs players are really liking that forecast. Mm, huh? I you bet. Can hear this. Exactly. <laughs> a former Chief finds a home with a former Chiefs coach. We'll have some uplifting video from Lithuania and the Chiefs back home for the remainder of camp as they prepare for Thursday night's game in Jacksonville. <laughs> NBC 41 Weather on Channel 38 is brought to you by the UAW Ford Partnership. You're watching NBC 41 News at 9 on Channel 38. Well, after their annual pilgrimage to River Falls, the Chiefs back in Kansas City to finish up camp. Spirits upbeat right now as the team is 2-0 in the preseason, heading into Thursday night's game at Jacksonville. Trent Green undoubtedly will be the starter. Today, Vermeil talked about the backup position. I think it's competitive. I think the thing that there are two different style of players, and I think they complement each other. 
And I think there's situations that in a game that one guy might fit better that situation than the other guy. Uh, but uh, I'm very pleased to have them both. Now one of the more entertaining parts of Saturday's chief win came in the locker room when quarterback Bubby Brister found something in his back pocket. Oh, he's going to be a great player, and, and he is already. He's going to be a big impact for us this year. And uh, don't tell me I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. Oh, my gosh. I, just saw, I didn't, didn't give somebody some tickets. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, um, I just felt in my pocket. And I, and Vanessa, I'm sorry. I'll get you next time, I promise. <laughs> What do you say? Other Chiefs-related news. Former tackle Dave Zott has found a home. Zott has signed a play with Marty Schottenheimer and, yes, the Washington Redskins or the uh, Kansas City East team. Yes. The former Chief who lives in New Jersey wanted to play close to home so he could see his son more. Zott's son suffers from cerebral palsy, so that's good news that he's close to home. Baseball, Royals played just 38 more times, including tonight. That's a good thing, considering that they've been tough to watch. However, tonight, winning 10-1 will have highlights coming up at 10 tonight. They hosted Chicago, the White Sox. Well, not to rub salt in the wounds of the Royals fans, but one Missouri team is playing very well. That would be, of course, the Cardinals. Cards, winners of 11 straight, working on 12 tonight. Last night, the win over Philadelphia, and I guess it's the sun's out, so that would be yesterday. Mark McGuire get, gets caught between third and home. McGuire tries calling timeout, but Mark, you can't do that in baseball. He is tagged out. At any rate, the Cards won their 11 straight. Sunday in Lithuania at a country music festival. Antonis Contremus, who has the strongest beer in the world, broke his own world record. Contremus, 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 I don't know, tomato, tomato, wrapped his beard around a harness, lifted his assistant, who's 135 pounds. He held the old record at 132 pounds. Contremus says the only drawback was that he lost several of his precious strong man beard hairs. Oh, you think? Think he lost a few there? That's Kind of gnarly, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Thanks for sharing. I can't grow one, so I figured, you know, more power to them. I'm glad you can. Thanks. Thank you. I wouldn't God. be doing that if I could. Well, well, Gary will have a final check of the forecast. No beards included when we come back. And a McDonald's restaurant celebrates a special day. Needless to say, it was a huge success. NBC 41 News at 9 will be right back. Watch Ron debut starting September 17th on 38 Family Grace. It's Toyota Clearance Time. Clearance happens just once a year, and you'll like the values on the summer's biggest inventory. Like and right now, you can get $1,500 customer cash on the comfortable, versatile 4Runner. Like this is the time to take home the adventurous 4Runner. It's ready to go anywhere, anytime, and is as comfortable on the back streets as a day in the city. Toyota's 2001 Clearance, going on coast to coast. Halo's engagement party. Next extra, we've got your inside look at the Bride of the East weekend celebration. Then, sexy cover boy puppies heated interview. Plus, Hollywood's biggest stars reveal their secret turn on. Next extra, tonight at 9.30 on 38 Up Late. family winner back. Don't you think you've gambled enough? No. We're required by law to ask every 75 hours. Get another free drink. Bo Simpson. Tonight at 10 on 38 Family Grace. If you, like me, are diabetic, I have some great news for you. Medicare will now pay for your diabetic supplies, and you can get them faster and easier than ever before. Preferred Rx is all about saving you time, money, and hassles. We'll take care of everything, even filing your Medicare claims and shipping. And our certified diabetes educator is available to answer your questions. Give us a call. I know you'll be glad you did. Preferred Rx will ship your diabetic supplies directly to your home with no upfront cost. Call today. We've turned dating. Oh my God, he's been stunned by a cattle prod. Into a spectator sport. Sorry. Rendezvous coming this fall, the 38th Family Greats. Workers at a McDonald's in Brazil were shocked when one of their drive-through customers special ordered a Big Mac. 
Here's why. Baby the Elephant helped a Rio de Janeiro McDonald's celebrate Happy Mac Day over the weekend. I'd be surprised that pulled up, too. Once a year, the restaurant donates the proceeds from Big Mac sales towards the fight against children's cancer. Baby helped attract lots of attention when she carried her money to the drive through window to pay for her special sandwich. Baby's Big Mac was made with three huge layers of bread and lots of lettuce. Some special sauce probably in there. Oh, well. look at that. He goes Thumbs for the top, lettuce. A head of oh. lettuce on each Come on, on let's see the there. burger come out here. Uh, no, more lettuce. Hungry. A little bit more. Going for the lettuce. <laughs> yeah, this is a treat. This is definitely something else. Wow. Oh, well. I could have watched that for another two minutes. I know you could have. That would have been great TV. We're out of time. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Gary and I will be back here at 10 o'clock. We'll talk more then. Good night. Okay. What you're going to get. This is where you got to go. You're watching KSHB TV with Kansas City's in-depth news. This is NBC 41 News Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Sally Moore. Elizabeth Alex has the night off. He says he diluted chemotherapy drugs out of greed. But that's not how friends of pharmacist Robert Courtney describe him. They say he's a compassionate, loving man. NBC 41's Peggy Agar is at the courthouse tonight with details on Courtney's bond hearing. Peggy. Well, Sally, Robert Courtney is described as a terrible man doing terrible things, but since his arrest last week, his family has not come out supporting him, at least not publicly. But today they did. They came to the federal courthouse and they talked fondly of a man they know as a son, a father, a husband. His expensive suits have gone the way of his dignity, clad in orange, his hands in handcuffs, pharmacist Robert Courtney got an earful at federal court. He is compassionate, he's loving, he's caring, not only for his family, but for uh, his church family. Members of his church spoke not of the monster. Cancer patients have been tearfully berating the past week, but talked of a caring man, a man of respected...